This is the second time I have picked up this camera and pressed record this month. All right, I'm on my Zoom. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Candice Renee. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. Yeah. Um, so we about to do like a little mud bang chitty chat, and I'm gonna take y'all with me through the whole like process. Um, I'm about to go get my food. We is finna go to the big crab, the lobster, red lobster. Yes, I know y'all probably thought I was gonna eat something fancy. No poo, red lobster because they got that shrimp special. Crazy because all the TikTok girls are like, oh my god, red lobster. Oh my god, can't believe her. Baby, I've been eating red lobster. Y'all just bougie. I mean, I'm bougie, but I'm not bougie when it comes to my food. I'm bougie with everything else. I'm bougie with my cars, my house, my clothes, my hair. But when it comes to food, baby, I gets down. I'm the fastest eater I know. I gets down. I don't play. Not that type of eater. This YouTube, this family friend. Okay, y'all. So... I've never done a mukbang before. So, we got the variety of scrimps here. So this is the variety of shrimp here from Red Lobster. Um, then I got this, uh, what is this called? This lobster dip. Let me show y'all, cause this is just chips. Let me show y'all the actual dip. The lobster dip. And then they gave me this Sorry, that was because on YouTube. They gave me this freaking weak type of broccoli. So. And then the biscuits are somewhere floating around the table. Um, I've never tried this. It's like the tequila, tequila shrimp. That's so bad. You know, fork. You just don't like bougie. Oh, I'm not eating red lobster. I will. I think this is the butter. I don't know what this is. <coughs> spicy. Very <coughs> spicy. Oh, shh. Two months, y'all. I've really been trying to, like, elevate my life and elevate myself and be the girl that I want to be. And I know a lot of people talk about, oh, you need to manifest and manifest, but I feel like manifestation is dead without the work change your life you really got to get up and do it you know what i'm saying like don't just like say oh i want to change my life and don't do anything about it like you have to actually get up and do it and it's honestly harder than what it seems because i go on tiktok or youtube and i see these girls be like oh yeah i get up at 5 a.m and i do this and i do that and a lot of times it's not even about just getting up at 5 a.m going to the gym and going to pilates and all that stuff like that like that may work for other people, but that may not work for you. Like me, I'm not a Pilates type of girl. You don't have to do Pilates and drink Starbucks and do all that to be that girl and to elevate. Like, I feel like that's like everybody just trying to do that because they see their favorite YouTubers doing that. I'm going to keep it up. Some girls, I go to Pilates. Why are you going to Pilates? Why did, what made you want to try Pilates? What made you want to do it? Because you've seen your favorite YouTuber doing it. Right. If you want to do something that you see somebody else do, cool. But make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Because I feel like some girls just be doing stuff because they see Aaliyah Face or Kyra or some people like that doing it which is nothing wrong with it i love them i watch their channels but at the end of the day do something because you want to do it not because you want to live this soft life which i'm so tired of hearing now my goal isn't even to live a soft life anymore my goal is to live a comfortable life my goal is to just be financially stable be able to pay my bills and be able to eat like as i've gotten older i've really started to like not care about certain things or not be interested in certain things anymore like i really don't care to go out and be in the club i don't really care to be getting drunk every weekend i don't really care to be doing any of that and i really hate when people try to compare 
me to my past. Oh my God, that's like one of the biggest like pet peeves for me. Younger, like when I was like 21, 22, I used to be drunk every weekend. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Whole year, drunk. Every weekend, I'm telling you. Um, I hate when people bring that up and be like, oh, remember when you was da 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 da. I have changed my life now, so it's like, why are you bringing up my past? And I feel like people who stay bringing up your past, they don't deserve to know the real you. And that's just fact. Because at the end of the day, if you see that I'm evolving and I'm being better, why do you keep saying, oh, remember back then we used to know? I don't because I'm a new changed woman. I feel like people who are always stuck in the past, you need to stay away from people like that. You're not up there. You're not evolving. I'm trying to bring you down with them. And it's like, mm -mm. talk about. So I've seen that interview with Krishan and Jason Lee. I didn't see the whole thing, but I was watching the snippets on TikTok. And y'all, if y'all ever feel like y'all that obsessed over a man, even if I don't know y'all, DM me so I, we can talk. Because the, it's so, I've never wanted to see somebody move on so bad in my life. <laughs> like, ever. Like, it's like, how many times can you let a man come to you? It's like how many times, how many times can you let a man humiliate you before you just be like, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Um, my last relationship was extremely toxic. Like we was like Krishan and Blueface, but not to the certain extent, but we used to fight. I remember my ex had literally kicked me out in the middle of the street in the middle of the night, in like 40 degree weather, kicks me out of his car had me stranded i had to get a ride with a stranger on my way home to back home and when i got home we ended up getting back together and the next day we just it was nothing like literally nothing and i was dumb like my extra should steal my car all types of crazy stuff and this is when i was like 22 23 years old and i had just moved out of my mom's house so and I let my boyfriend move in with me. So it's like, I think Krishan's like 23. So I get it. But it's like, the young card, at first I was like, okay, she's young. This is her first love. Cool. But after a while, the young card is a no-go. Right. At this point, you're not young and dumb. You're just dumb. Like, seriously. Like move on. I don't I don't get it. That's why I think it's like they all like conspire this for clout or something. Because I've never seen a girl literally her man the man put her through anything. Like y'all know the picture that she posted that he posted of her baby. It was like how can you still like a man after he do that? Like that should have been the final straw. Ain't no mm, that good. So, mm -mm. And then it's just like, she don't love her child. Because if you really loved your child, you wouldn't deal, you wouldn't continue to deal with the father who doesn't claim the child. Not only does he not claim the child, but he also put that picture of the child on the internet. You don't love the child because if you did, you wouldn't let, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't mess with a man that does that to your child. Cause I know my parents, my mama would not still deal with somebody that hurt me. So it's kind of like you choosing the man over the child. I'll call Twitter X. Cause me personally, I'm never going to call Twitter X. I feel like it sounds like a corn site. If you know, you know. 
X.com sounds like corn, okay? Absolutely not. <coughs> Ever be Twitter. I wonder if it was. One of those Indian scammers called me earlier. I was on the phone for them for like 20, 25 minutes. Really just playing. Like, she got my phone, she was like, she got my phone, and she was like, um, your identity has been hacked. There's a package coming to your house that contains illegal substances. And they have hacked your I and they use the um your identity. And I'm like, oh really? Oh really? And she was like, Have you been to the post office lately? I said, Nope. And then they had my right address. And then she was like, are you 27 years old? No, I said, I'm 57. <laughs> I said, I'm 57 years old. And they was like, what's your address? Can you confirm your address? I said, 123 Bob Street. And she said, well, can you confirm your social security number? I said, 1234-56789. And she asked me to confirm my phone number. I said, 1234-56789. And they got mad and hung up. <laughs> like, I don't understand these scammers, like, it's so much like I don't know if y'all watch the scam baiting channel on the scam baiting channels on um, YouTube. I do. I be watching all of them. Um, Pleasant Green, Pierogi, Trilogy Media, um, Catfished, where the people be getting um, dating scams. Yeah, I be going down the rabbit hole on YouTube. Um, I'll be watching all them. It's a whole team of people that exp expose scammers. And I mean, I get it because I feel like they target old people, which is kind of like fucked up, but it's like, at the end of the day, it just don't make sense. Who's some people like, do you really think I believe this? You're telling me there's an illegal substance on the way to my house right now through the U.S. Postal Service. Don't you think the use of the United Postal Service would notice that before they even ship it off? Because I'm pretty sure the post office knows what's in the packages before they ship them off. They, I'm telling you. So the fact that they really sat up here and tried to play on my phone like that is crazy. I remember I had one Indian scammer that told me I almost fell for it too. And so they told me to go withdraw all the money out of my bank account and put it in an envelope and send it somewhere where it'll be safe. I said, y'all almost had me to the end part. Mm, almost had me. Because I said, y'all want me to do what? That don't even sound right, sister. Mm -mm. It be so hard to film for TikTok and YouTube. Like... I'm telling you, I think that'd be my problem because it's like I'm trying to be a TikTok, I'm trying to be a content creator in all platforms, but it's like trying to film because I'm finna film now a TikTok, just me eating, and this shit difficult. I don't see how y'all do it. Film and eat is extremely difficult. We're not film and eat, but like trying to film a TikTok, a YouTube. And eating. It's crazy. But I forgot to tell y'all. I'm sitting up here talking. I forgot to tell y'all what I was eating. This, um, I guess this is the butter shrimp. I have no idea. But it is so good. It's so crazy to me how the girls on TikTok are just now finding out that chilies and red lobster is so good. Like, baby, I've been eating this. I've been eating chilies. I've been eating Applebee's. I've been on Red Lobster. All that. Now, what I'm not eating at Applebee's is them $1 margaritas. Everybody like, oh my God, $1 margaritas. Them, mm -mm. them $1 margaritas being $1 don't even sound correct. I think this has cheese in it. I'm lactose intolerant. Cheese makes it. <laughs> but... <laughs> But um, we got Zool, we got Zool. 
So, ooh, broke right up in the bone up in there. So, trying to mash it all up. Trying to get a good little amount of dip. So, y'all see that dip? I see that dip. like spinach and artichoke dip but like <clears throat> extra creamy be on my content zoom because i really want to try to get brand deals let me tell you something trying to get brand deals is much harder than what people say it is who's up here who's sitting up here like oh yeah all I gotta do is this, 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 this. Brand deals. Brand deals is hard. To get. Because. Everybody talks about the Skeepers program. So. This is what it's called, called Skeepers. S-K-E-E-P-E-R. And you can go on there. <coughs> and get um and i guess once they approve you you can get um you could get added to pr and stuff right first of all let me tell you what the girlies do not tell you on tiktok and youtube and all stuff like that number one you have to have a certain amount of followers and you have to have a certain amount of engagement on each one of your platforms all right on youtube your last five videos have to have like 5,000 or more views or something. And on TikTok, you have to have over, I think, 1,000 followers. Oh, that's all right. You have to have over 1,000 followers. It has requirements. The only, the only one I was required, the only one that I met the requirements for was TikTok. So, I went to my TikTok. I went to apply my TikTok, and these motherfuckers told me that I got denied. And I said, "What?" And they gave me a couple reasons why I could have got denied. All of them, I'm like, "Okay, no." They're like, "You got too many memes on your page." I'm like, "No, it's not me. My content is clear. It's because I don't have the engagement. Like some of my TikToks do okay. Some of them flop. All of my TikToks." Don't have over a thousand views, so it's an engagement piece. These brand deals want to see that you have an engaged audience and that you make good content. That's why I don't reach out to brands anymore. I did used to do that, and I only got one brand that responded that I was work I've been working with them for like two months, which is still a blessing. I don't get paid a whole lot from them, but it's more money than I had before just to make them videos. So, so I'm like, okay, cool. Didn't matter to me. So, I feel like if a brand reaches out to you, they value the, they value you more and you can negotiate with them so that's why i always say to get brand deals i say just concentrate on making quality content and let the brands reach out to you now of course there's ugc and ugc not easy either another thing too with brand deals reaching out to brands I feel like brands see a billion and one people reaching out to them a day with their portfolios. So they're not going to look at you. I'm just being honest. Let the brands come to you. I say tag them, promote their product for free, and then let them come out to you and let them sponsor you. Because they probably get a billion and one emails from people a day. 
that want to be content creators, that want to get brand deals, and you know, let them reach out to you. Um, I'm getting full, so I'm probably gonna save some of this for later. The broccoli ain't gonna make it. <laughs> but that was it, you guys. I know this mukbang was kind of all over the place. I really didn't have a topic. I didn't even know I was gonna be on my Zoom today. Y'all should be proud of me, by me proud of me. But that's pretty much it, you guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you like this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.